Nice video. You guys should do a tour of the studio. First off, amazing hair, Sabrina. Secondly, studio tour. Your Whoa. new setup rocks. Looks way more professional and high quality. Welcome, Bryce, to our smart home studio tour extravaganza 2017. If you used to watch our vlogs, you know what used to be behind this door. It used to be my room. Now, ta-da! Welcome to our studio. Follow me. Just so you know, if there's anything in this video that you guys want to buy for yourself or buy for a friend or family member for Christmas or something like that, we'll leave a link to as many products that you see in this video as we can in the description, as well as links to videos on our Blairbrite channel where we do full reviews of certain products. It'll all be in the description, so make sure to check that stuff out. So you might recognize this room as the room where we shoot all of our Terabrite covers and music videos, because that's where we do it. Just a quick rundown of what we got here. This is actually a Galleon Kruger base amp. This is a backline 600, I think it's 300 watts per cab here. And then we have a Sans amp uh, bass driver here, makes it sound nice and crunchy. I got this off Craigslist, it was used. And both this and that guitar amp over there, I, I bought both of these things simply because we wanted to perform live at Playlist Live. We had like the whole band thing going with uh, Tony and Herb and Mark. I actually bought this cab, this Marshall cab off of Tony. And I think Chris Martin, the photographer of Playlist Live, he does photo shoots for Sleeping With Sirens and stuff. I don't know if any of you guys know who that is, but he's an awesome photographer and he actually, I think, owned this originally for his old band, which is really cool. And then this Hughes and Kettner, it's a trilogy. I bought this off of eBay, it was used, and it smelled terrible when I got it in, but it smells okay now, it just has one broken knob on it. And then I have this, like, this gate right here, which it's a really noisy amp, so it really gates it and it makes it nice and clean. This drum set right here, I bought off of one of my friends. It was completely used, all the, all the shells are from different kits, apparently. And he used it for his band, uh, Rivervel. I don't know if you guys know the history of Terabrite, but we have a lot of history with the singer of Rivervel. He was in one of my old bands, and um, he's kind of the reason me and Sabrina met, actually. Their band, their drummer, Tom, actually owned this kit and they were a really awesome band, but they broke up and I bought it from them. It's a really awesome kit. It's got Tom Toms, like they're literally Tama Tom Toms. Tom, Tama Tom Toms, they're made by Tama. And then the snare is a Yamaha uh, YD series snare, I think. Yeah, YD series. And then we got this Express Series Pearl kick drum. And then I, I bought these uh, Zildjian cymbals myself. And then I got this TRX 21 inch China cymbal. So it's just, it's kind of, I don't know if you guys care about that stuff, but that's what this stuff is. And it's just kind of just assorted stuff from different things. And everything I have is used other than these cymbals. <laughs> Got my bass amp, my drums, my guitar amp, everything you need to look like you're actually playing music. <laughs> I record it all in the background and then I pretend I'm playing it, but it's got to look real, you know what I'm saying? So we got all of our lighting, we got a big TV here in case we have to read off lyrics for PewDiePie's rap because I couldn't memorize them. And more... <laughs> that's the one thing we use it for. My parents actually bought that for so they could do stuff. If you didn't notice, we have a lot of foam on the wall. These are Oralex acoustic treatment foam and they're amazing. Before we put those up, this place sounded like an echo chamber. <laughs> it was crazy. It's very echo in here. These, we did like a DIY and put them together so we could put them all equally on the wall. And we do also have these awesome stands here that we can move around. So if we're trying to do maybe like a talking part, for the end of a music video. Um, these really come in handy for just kind of like bringing behind the camera. So those are cool. If you want to check out the comparisons and how awesome these things are, how we set them up and everything, we have a whole video on our Vlerabrite channel. You can check that out. Let's move on to this. This is now a closet, but this used to be a window <laughs> to the outside. This whole thing wasn't here before. This is an addition to the house. This was DJ's old room. It is now a closet. It's insane! Look at this thing! It's so tiny now! So basically what they did was they put a wall right here um, and it made a hallway. And so we now have a hallway from the rest of the house into this whole addition, which is amazing. And this is where we keep all of our equipment out of the way. The next awesome thing that just sounds ridiculous, but honestly, like I don't know how we would make such awesome music videos without them, is the fact that we have put 
Lifex bulbs in this entire edition. Down here, we have four sets of three track lighting and each of them have Lifex bulbs. And if you don't know what Lifex is, it is a bulb that changes colors. It's a smart bulb. And we reviewed a full review of that as well. Link in the description to that if you wanna learn more about it. But they basically change colors and you can animate them. And we love using them for music videos. We have it hooked up here to our iPad. So basically you can just uh, turn all the lights on and off. Whoa, <laughs> if you want, just like that. Um, and you can go to it and animate them. All right, let's go to random. So this one just kind of randomly picks colors, which is pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, you could see how these could be super useful for videos. They're amazing. One of the cool things about having smart bulbs is when you have something that's smart, usually it can work with other smart things because that's just how smart things work. And this little button is no exception. This is a Logitech pop switch. It's just a single button that you could either press once, press twice, or you could hold. And each of those commands, all three of those commands do something different. And you could basically program what that command does in the Logitech pop app. And it's really cool. We actually have it set right now. So a single tap dims the lights. So it's kind of like a dimmer light. So it's just kind of like living situations. And a double tap makes it bright, which that's what we shoot with, because it just has to be bright when we're shooting. And I forget what holding does it. What does it do? Oh, turns it off, I guess. Oh, that's right. It leaves one, one light on right there for uh, when it's dark at night and we want to be able to see our way to the end of the tunnel. It's just kind of cool. You have full control over the lights with this one thing. We don't need to access the app and be like changing sliders and stuff. And you could put these pop switches everywhere. We have one upstairs and we have a really cool thing that we do with the pop switches. We'll show you later as well. But yeah, that's pretty much the studio. The main focus, I think, is the LifeX lights and the acoustic foam. If we didn't have that, this wouldn't be a functional studio. You wouldn't be able to hear me, you wouldn't be able to see me, but you can, and that's, that's what matters. And I, these things work really well for video lights. I've seen a lot of LED lights that kind of like flicker, like the frequency isn't really that high, I guess, of the LED. So you can see on video, it's like flickering almost. But these are, you can't tell, like this is, it's like professional studio lighting. Just for the record, all the ones in these fixtures are actually BR30 bulbs, they're not the A19s. Because for some reason, the BR30s just fit right inside those fixtures perfectly. And it's just like a, a three track lighting that we got from Home Depot. So it's kind of cool. We also over here in exhibit B, we have these off camera strobes, which are all made by Paul C. Buck. Um, this is a white lining 1600. I think it's one of their most powerful lights. It goes really bright. It can compete with the sun if you bring it outside. And we also have a Vagabond battery. It's just a battery that you could like attach to it and you could bring outside and you could use it without an outlet. And over here, we just have an Alien B400. It's like their cheapest light you can get. It's for when you want to have it like not super bright and you just want to kind of experiment. We use this sometimes too. We also use it as a backlight. It's really cool. But we use this White Lightning 1600 for like pretty much all of our thumbnails, just so you guys know. Whenever we shoot a thumbnail, we usually take a picture because we want to have that raw image so we can edit the data and really just like make it pop. And with this big Octabox right here, it's, it's just, it just looks great. We actually share this studio space with The Learning Station, which is DJ's parents. They have a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash The Learning Station. They do children's music and educational stuff. So you should definitely check that out if you have any uh, kids or anybody, if you are a kid. We have a bunch of director's chairs here because there's always a bunch of kids here shooting. Um, there's usually a big green screen put up over here for the learning station, um, but we put it, take it up and put it down when we do videos, which you can actually find these director's chairs on Amazon. They're really cute. We have them everywhere. And also out here is just a little tiny garage thing that you can you keep crap in. That's pretty much it. My parents didn't want to rent storage units anymore for all the extra stuff we had, like Christmas stuff and Halloween stuff, so they just got a little extra little area there. And other than that, that's kind of what this whole studio is for. It's pretty awesome. A lot of videos go down in here. So now, let's go ahead and check out Terabyte headquarters. Entering Terabyte headquarters in three, two, one. 
Welcome to Terrible Headquarters. This is what we call it with our friends. They think it's funny, it's kind of a joke, but we, we take it very seriously, actually. This is actually Terrible Headquarters. So, this is where we do all of our gaming videos. This is where we actually play video games. This is where we actually record music. This is where we sleep. This is where we live, watch TV, go to the bathroom, waste time, which we don't, never do. We never waste time, we're perfect humans. I'm kidding. The first place I wanna show you is where all of the Terabyte music starts, well, ends actually, DJ starts with the instruments, the vocal booth. In here, we have Oralex foam all over the place. We like to have a really dead room when we record because when we compress it and like really bring out everything in the vocal, we don't want to be bringing out like room noise or echo or reverberations or anything. We want to bring out just the vocal and just have it nice and crisp on top. We actually did a video of us installing this and reviewing, as I said earlier. So uh, go ahead and check out the link in the description to that. As you can see, I actually have a monitor, keyboard, mouse, headphones, and microphone in here. We want to end up mounting this to the wall because it kind of wobbles and that's not good for sound. But it's really awesome that we were able to wire all this stuff into here and hook it up to our main computer in case DJ pulled an all-nighter doing an instrumental and he can't record me. But as you can see, there's actually a window here and it looks out over the staircase and over to our main recording area. I actually come in here sometimes when Sabrina's gaming and just like monitor the mix to make sure everything sounds right and I could watch it on the screen. It's really cool. And it's like a nice little like desolate area where you can come in here and just like hang out and like, what's up guys? Sounds good in here, huh? We don't do that, but it's cool. And by the way, this is the Neumann TLM 103. Awesome mic. It has the same capsule as I believe the Neumann U87, which is a really popular vocal mic, but it just doesn't have all the extra technology that makes it amazing. But we don't have that much money to buy the U87, so we'll stick with the TLM 103. Sounds good. I just want to say really quick before we get too deep into this, this is not a sponsored video at all. Nothing that we do in this video is actually sponsored. We did reach out to some of these companies and say, hey, we really like your products. We'd like to put your products in our video, show it off, because we could really take advantage of it and use it and make some awesome stuff with it. And they helped us out. They hooked us up with some deals. And I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for the studio tour for like a year, but that's kind of why, because we don't really have a whole lot of money. But Thanks to these companies hooking us up, we we got it done in a year. <laughs> so that's the vocal booth. And in uh, door number two, there's other stuff. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Serena didn't want me to show you. She's cringing behind the camera right now. Here's a Walmart table. <laughs> so what we have here is a nice little couch made by Article. It's kind of trendy looking, not really that comfortable, but I like firm and it gets the job done. We play a lot of Xbox One here. We have a little soundbar speaker and Sabrina's old Vizio television from like 10 years ago. We have not upgraded this thing, but it's, it's still, it's going strong. I could pat it because it's old. Over here, we have our 100,000 subscriber plaques, soon to be 1 million subscriber plaques in 5 million years. On this guitar right here, I got my Gibson Studios. This is one of my first guitars. Actually, my first guitar was like an Ibanez Rio, I believe. But this is my Gibson Studio. It's kind of like my first like real good guitar. I don't really record with this guitar anymore because I have this guitar now, which is my Halo guitar. It's amazing. It's a seven string guitar. It's got Evertune bridge and it's got bare knuckle pickups. So it just sounds amazing. It looks amazing and it stays in tune forever because it's got Evertune. And here I got my bass guitar. This is a Ernie Ball Music Man. Sounds amazing. And then here, this is actually a guitar I got Sabrina for her birthday or Christmas or something. This is a Taylor GS Mini. It's literally just a miniature guitar, but it sounds like a full on guitar and it's pretty awesome. This is my Taylor 4 and 4 CE, which is, it's got electronics in it. So does the GS Mini but this one's got it built in and you could like change the bass and volume and treble there. And it sounds amazing, but for some reason, when you plug it in live at Playlist Live in other places and don't use a specific cable, it just stops working. And that's kind of the result of uh, our very first performance at Playlist Live, it was a disaster. <laughs> I've had this guitar fixed like six times. So if Taylor wants to reach out to me and fix this for good, I'll be happy about that. <laughs> and then over here, we have my Alienware laptop, about two years old now, still going strong. Got our Canon 5D, 
that we don't use anymore. We use it to take pictures. We used to use it for videos, but now it's just strictly pictures. It still works great for that. We have two uplift desks up here. They move up and down. I can't even imagine having anything other than an up, a desk that moves up and down. You guys have to go check out our review of this. We did a full review as well. Link will be in the description to where you can purchase this and also to the review on our vlog channel, Blair Bright. Over here, we have a Christmas tree. And under the Christmas tree, you could see we have Christmas presents. These are all my Christmas presents for Sabrina. Right here, we have a Dorito. I want to know what the Dorito is. She doesn't know what the Dorito is. She'll find out soon. Maybe we'll upload a vlog, a Christmas vlog on Vlerabrite. So maybe you should check that out. And you can see what the Dorito is. <laughs> Everyone's going to be like, what's the Dorito? They're going to watch the vlog just to see what the Dorito is. Over here, we have the Wheel of Doom. This is the Wheel of Doom. We we do crazy things on our gaming channel. Like I said, you should check it out, Terabyte Games. It turns on. Isn't that so cool? All right, let's do a little spinner room. What's it gonna be? Spin while dabbing 20 times. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'm sorry, I won't do it. I won't, I won't, I won't make you cringe too much. Police are here. <laughs> Dad, police are here. Let's see what I land on. So we're in ASMR mode now. That's what I landed on, so I gotta be really quiet. That's what happens when we play in Terabyte Games. So make sure to subscribe to Terabyte Games. And this is our main computer that we use for gaming, editing, recording, everything. In the future, we want two computers so we could separate those things and I could work on stuff while Sabrina's streaming and stuff. But in the meantime, this does everything, literally. Barely does it by a thread because it's not an amazing computer, but it works. Again, we have an uplift desk here. It's absolutely amazing. In this particular case, we have all of our stuff mounted to the bottom, including the UPS and the computer. And there's a lot of cables like routing under there that I don't want you to see. So I'm not gonna show you that. Usually like when I have a computer, there's just cables everywhere. And somehow we managed to not do that this time. This is our old Dell monitor that we used back in the day. You'd probably see it in the vlogs. Um, it's 2560 by 1600. Um, so it's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, kind of weird, a little tall. When you watch videos on it, there's black bars on top and bottom, but I kind of like it. I kind of wish we had two of these, but they don't make them anymore. Now they only have 16 by nines. This is a 4K LG monitor. It looks amazing. It just, I wish it was a little taller. I kind of like the top and bottom thing. And as you can see, Vegas Pro 15, our favorite editing software is open. Uh, we were checking to make sure the footage downstairs looked okay. And this is a good segue into the announcement of who won a free copy of Vegas Pro 15. We did a giveaway in our last video at the end. We said to enter and the winner of the giveaway is James Wise Magic. Congratulations. I know you've been around for a really long time and I know you really, really wanted this. And I know a lot of other people did too. Don't worry, hopefully we have more of these giveaways in the future. Um, but congratulations, James. Thank you so much for supporting us so much. And uh, I hope you enjoy your new copy of Vegas Pro 15. So go ahead and check your YouTube messages, James, uh, for a message from us so we can uh, ship this over to you. Here we have a ring light with our camera in the center. Right now we have the our vlogging camera, which is the Sony a5100. We also use this for the Wheel of Doom, but the camera we're using and we usually have here is the Sony a7S II. It's way overboard. Like there's no point in ever doing that for a gaming setup. It's our only other camera that, that does the job and looks well nice with this camera because it's a Sony as well. And it has S-Log3, a bunch of other technical stuff so we can kind of do some cool stuff on the stream that no one else can do. But we switched it out so you could see what it looks like with the camera up there. This ring light turns on, makes you look nice and pretty because when you have the ring light on, you have a little catch light in your eye. I don't know if you can see it right now because I'm looking the other way. See the catch light in my eye? Then we also have our SM7B right here. It's on a nice little uh, road arm here that you could just pull out and put back. Like, hey, I don't want to stream anymore. Hold on a second. I want to stream. Bam! In your face. And what's really awesome about these desks is they also can come with arms, which we have mounted uh, both this monitor and the ring light onto which is amazing we can just move them around how we want and that makes things really awesome because we have a really complicated setup you do not want to see the wires behind these monitors but if you guys want to see a full 
tour of this entire setup, including like my OBS like settings and stuff. I could go into all of that, probably put on Terabyte Games eventually. So make sure you go to subscribe to Terabyte Games, youtube.com slash Terabyte Games. And I will do a full gaming setup tour and you could see all the bells and whistles and I'll answer all your questions. And just like downstairs in the studio, we have LifeX bulbs everywhere upstairs as well. And as you can see behind our computer, we actually have a LifeX Z strip which we usually sometimes put in our uh, terabyte videos as well. We put them by the drums. If you haven't noticed a little light strip down there, it's really cool when it animates. And we've also fashioned our walls with more Oralex foam. Since we do a lot of audio over here for gaming videos and such, it does help with the echoes. It's a really high voltage ceiling in here, so it does get really echoey. And sometimes when you're working a lot on the computer, you need to, you need to just stop and, and stretch and, and get moving because working at the computer for too long is not good. And the way we do it in Terabyte Headquarters is with our DDR mat. <laughs> we are DDR nerds. If you don't know what DDR is, you should because it's amazing. We also have a pop switch right here to control all of our lights in this room. So one tap just kind of dimmed the lights. A double tap makes it the brightest that it can go and holding it down is for TV watching. So it leaves uh, a couple dim lights on for you to see if you wanna get up and walk around. And right here is our air purifier. It's a Rabbit Air minus A2. We did a full review on our Valerabyte channel of this as well. Links in the description for you to go check that out. It is really cool and amazing. And I actually love that you can pick a design for the front of it. So it kind of like matches our black and white theme that we have going up here. And I love that. DJ actually has pretty bad allergies. So it's really awesome to have something like this for someone that has allergies. And I've actually noticed in the past like when it's off like if there's a power outage or something happens to where I turned it off for whatever reason and I forgot to turn it back on I actually noticed the next day I'm like why am I more stuffed up than usual and it's simply because I didn't turn it on it works amazingly definitely a good investment above our air purifier we actually have an amazing thermostat it's the nest thermostat and you just turn it to change it and you can press it to see some information. Like today, it's 71 degrees outside. It's Saturday, it's 3.52 in the afternoon. Humidity outside. And this is the station where I make Sabrina coffee every morning. I also make Sabrina her eggnog coffee for Christmas, which some of you may have seen in our Terabrite Instagram story. If you haven't seen it yet, make sure to follow us on Instagram. Actually, I might've posted on DJ Monopoly. I'm not really sure, follow both of them because could be either one, you know? I don't know how I would have made it through some of the Terabyte nights and gaming nights with the new updates coming out without this Verismo machine from Starbucks. And I've got my little Verismo espresso pods. This is a little microphone award we won. My current Starbucks. Yeah, this is just like our little food area. We got this from Amazon, this piece of furniture. We can actually link to that in the description as well. Okay, so let's move on to the bathroom. And then right here we have a Delta auto sensing faucet. Watch this. It sensed my hand and turned on automatically. Just tap it and it turns on and off. And I like it a lot because I'm not gonna lie, I have pretty bad OCD about faucets and stuff. And just knowing that I'm not responsible for it being on if it turns on, it's the technology's fault, makes me feel better. Should I even say that? So honestly, that's like the main reason. Like we're not just like splurging. Like I just wanted something that didn't give me OCD and this really helps me a lot. But I gotta say, even though the technology is great, this particular faucet, because of the shape of this thing, for whatever reason, the way the water comes out, it's not like aerated or something. So when it hits your hand, it doesn't curve around your hand. It splashes all over the place. And that causes water to be all over the sink all the time when you're washing your hands and stuff. And when that happens and it gets wet, the sensor doesn't work as well. So it like ruins the purpose of it. So I don't know if I could recommend this particular faucet. The Delta technology is amazing. So if you want a full review of that, I guess we could do that. But I kind of just did it right there. This toilet flushes with a button. So that's the thing. And it has two buttons because we, we go green here and uh, one button is for number one and one button's for number two. So you could save water when you do number ones and you could get it all down when you do number twos. We have a shower with a button. I love buttons. <laughs> I think that was the only shower with a button we could find. It's from Germany. I think it says something German on it. Hans Groch. So that's our bathroom. 
And right here we have a door pull up bar. I actually prefer doing chin ups because of I, I like it. It's probably probably bad technique or something, but whatever. And once you pass the pull up bar, you enter our room where all the magic happens. I do magic tricks in here, literally. I have cards and I do magic tricks. So starting here at the doorway, we actually have a third pop switch. And this one's awesome because when you hold it down, it turns on the sound maker in the room and prepares the entire upstairs and downstairs for us going to sleep. So it turns off all of the lights and it leaves like an, a couple night lights above the stairs. And over here, we have another rabbit air air purifier, which is older. We got this a few years ago. Over here is my makeup slash hair area, and I love it. I've always wanted to have a dedicated area to that because it always got so messy. So I've got this like drawer full of makeup, and I also have this awesome smart mirror that I got for my birthday from DJ, and it's wireless. How awesome. And also it's censored. So like when you get near it, it knows and it turns on. It's made by Simple Human and I will leave a link to that in the description. So that there's a, there's a dresser. And then over here we have our bed and nightstands. And this bed isn't just any bed. This is an Intella bed. It is awesome and it's so comfortable. It's made of gel. I did a full review of this as well on our vlog channel. Please go check it out. It's really cool. We each have our own remotes. This is actually a smart bed sort of because you can control the remote. You can add a massage, which is like basically vibration. And you could also change the height of the top and the height of the bottom. I'll show you that in a second right now. All you gotta do is press the button. I'm raising the head right now. I wanna, I wanna show you how high this goes. You can pretty much sit in it like a chair. And then once you like go full on, like you're squished in a corner, you're practically in zero gravity position, which is like what the astronauts do when they're going into space. They don't have back problems because it's the ideal position for life. Also, there's a little flashlight on here if I want to see stuff at night. And there's a light for under the bed that you can turn on and off. It looks kind of futuristic and modern. And it also just lights under the bed if you want to see under the bed or if you want to make sure there's no monsters under the bed. That's always a problem with most people. The amazing thing about this bed is that it's actually gel. This isn't memory foam. There's no off gassing, okay? There's no foam in this. It's literally just this gel stuff. From what I understand, IntelliBed's the first bed manufacturer to do this type of stuff. Put this gel as like a sleeping mattress. It's kind of amazing. It basically lasts forever. It's recommended by over a thousand chiropractors. It relieves pressure points up to 80% better than competitors. Naturally safe and extremely durable. I have a lot of back pain and stuff and this thing helps me a lot. I don't really have that much pain anymore. Thanks to IntelliBed, I, I make better music now. If you are looking to get a new mattress, I do highly recommend that you watch our full review of the IntelliBed mattress. And the final room of our studio tour, this is what we call the bonus room. Some people call it the long room. It's basically a room that was added on to the addition last second because the person that was making it kind of screwed something up. And to make up for it, he decided to use this empty space and uh, utilize it somehow. And make it a room and that's why you see this this is actually the existing roof from the existing house this is like totally not complete right now it's literally just like storage and our internet like routers and cable modems and stuff in the future we hopefully want to get some orlex foam in here maybe have another computer in here where i could be recording and doing things while sabrina's streaming and it's going to be a nice little room just to get stuff done that's pretty much it maybe in the future when we upgrade this area and get it all complete we'll do an updated studio tour if there's anything about the studio tour that you think we missed and you want us to go over let us know we're definitely willing to do more of these things we're going to start reviewing all these things we know we have a lot of stuff that people are interested in and they want to know like how it works for us and if it's doing well i might do some reviews on my dj monopoly channel but we're going to be doing them on Vlerbride as well so that about wraps up our studio tour thank you guys so much for watching don't forget we have a lot of stuff in the description for you to check out product links reviews other channels of ours that you should definitely check out and subscribe to thank you guys so much for watching and supporting us over the years and if you are new make sure you do subscribe and turn notifications on and i'll see you guys in our next music video what will it be i don't know better have those notifications on bye